Hi, my name is Ellen Burns. I'm an undergraduate at the University of Kentucky. Hi, I'm Audra Stacy, and I'm also an undergraduate at the University of Kentucky. Today we're going to be demoing an EEG recording for a neurophysiology course. The EEG was originally developed by Hans Berger in the 1930s to study the electrical activities of the human brain. Today it's mostly used for diagnosis of seizure disorders and sleeping disorders as well. Before we begin, please ask your subject to remove their jewelry. And then also make sure that, that there's power to the power lab. By first plugging in, you can see the leads here, which we're going to be putting on the subject, and then flipping on the black switch in the back to turn on power. Okay. Next, we're going to stick put the leads on. They also, the, all these leads contain a salt solution that helps to pick up the electrical signal for the power lab. Also, these are the same leads that are used for an EKG. Okay. Next, we're going to clean the area on, of, uh, of Ellen's uh, head where the, where the leads are going to go. And they're all found here in your student protocol manual. And you see we're going to put the first one, the lowest one, which, will be the, which is green in this case, we're going to put over, there, over her right, our left eye. And then we'll put the second one, which is a black one here in this case which we're going to put at the back of her head. Your subject will probably have to hold it on to, her, to their head to make sure it'll stay. Or you could get a band and put around it. Either one is fine. Then our third, um, the third lead is going to go over the right, over the right eye. And you know, now we're going to do that. Okay. Next we're going to put on uh, this abrasive gel that's going to rub off any makeup or dead skin that's going to get in the way and interfere with the EEG. Walk off any of the excess. Also, don't forget to do the spot in the back of the head. It should be somewhere right around uh, the bump in the head right here will be fine. Okay, our next step will be to attach the leads to the subject. Be sure to do this before you before you start your computer program, before recording any of the EEG. The first one, the green one, goes over the left eye. The second one, the black one, will go over will go on the back of the head. Once again, be sure to have your subject either hold it or attach a band around to make sure that it will stay on. Good. The third lead will go over the right eye. Now be sure to have your subject stand very still while you're turning on the computer program. Now I'm going to sit really still while she opens up the program. We have to hold your arms still and make sure you don't hit any of the wires because that will also cause an artifact. Our next step will be to turn on the computer program. We load lab chart 7 and this should pull up uh, under the experiments tab. Sometimes if it pull, it may start off under get started but just be sure to click on experiments. And then your um, Lab chart should al already be loaded with EEG settings, so just click that and then press start and you're already recording. Okay. Now, if you'd like, we can also change the gain setting, which is up here at the top. Making it larger and more visible. And we can higher gain to see more changes or a lower gain. So that's a little more consistent. 
Now I'm going to change the gain to 500 microvolts and I'm going to ask Ellen to be really still but to keep her eyes open and I'm going to write up here in the comment section write eyes open and I can hit I'm going to press add or hit return to mark it on our EEG I'm going to let it let it sit just a minute with our uh, eyes open and then I can type in blink before I'm going to ask Ellen to blink so that we can see the effect on the EEG. Okay Ellen blink. And blink again. And blink again. Okay, Ellen, blink. Okay, our next step will be to ask Ellen to be very still and to keep her eyes closed. But first we're gonna mark it in our comments. Okay, Ellen, close your eyes and be very still. We're gonna just gonna be really relaxed and we're gonna monitor the waves. But also, if we want to um, space out the waves more, we can press this button down here and it can speed up the rate and show more precise, more spaces in the patterns, or we can also slow it down and get a more general idea of the waves. Okay, now while Ellen's in a relaxed state, we're gonna ask her to do some mental math problems. Now she's not gonna answer them out loud, but in this relaxed state, she's just gonna think the answer in her head. We're also gonna type up math before we ask the question. Okay, Ellen, what's three times four? What's five times three? It's good to stop the uh, EEG in between these sections so that it gives a clear distinction between each part. Okay, now for our next part, while Ellen is still relaxed, we're gonna ask her to open her eyes again. Just a second, Ellen. Okay, open your eyes. All right, and now that our eyes are open, we're gonna ask her to do some artifacts or things that are gonna mess with the EEG. Okay, just a second. Okay, Ellen, clench your teeth. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do ask her to breathe heavy. Okay, breathe heavy. All right. Also, because the heart is such a large muscle, it can also contaminate an EEG. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now that we're done with our uh, recording part, we're going to take off the leads. Be sure to fully clean the skin well because uh, the salt solution can cause irritation on the skin. Now that we're done, we're gonna analyze our data, our EEG, and that's gonna be easier to do if we uh, compress it a little bit. So, uh, so, not so much. So with this compressed, you can see some patterns in the data. And we're gonna pick, pick a part of the data that we wanna analyze, uh, such as her, here, Ellen's eyes are closed right here. I can highlight some of the data. Ooh, not that much. <laughs> and you can kind of see a pattern, they can see patterns here, but you can also, if you spread it apart, or if you make it closer together, you can see the patterns, but if you make them farther apart, you can see the frequencies. And what we're going to do here now, I've got it highlighted, is that we're going to take our cursor and go up to Spectrum View. Okay, and this, and make sure it's set on channel 3 EG or whatever channels you may be. It may be unclicked, which in that case will show nothing. But make sure it's just highlighted. On the Y axis is the power, and on the X axis is the frequencies. And we can spread it out so that you can see a little better. Uh, like right here. If we put your cursor over, it'll automatically highlight the top of the uh, 
uh, the peak of the frequencies and right here up at the top right here it'll show you the frequency and the power behind it so that was like 3.867 nanovolts squared it shows so that she has a lot at um, at these very low frequencies and uh, some higher up these are higher up frequencies and typically the alpha waves will be around 10 Hertz Okay, uh, your student protocol packet will also show you the analysis, um, which is pretty much what I just showed you here. And it also has a series of questions that you can follow along and answer here. And that is the general basis of an EEG recording. My recording showed very few alpha waves. This is probably due to not being calm enough or having too much caffeine during the day or too much stress or uh, noise in the room but you can decrease this by meditating or trying to just stay in a calmer state. Um, different kinds of waves like alpha and, um, and delta, they can all be found in your student protocol packet and uh, they can help you differ differentiate the different types of waves and even help you, if you to uh, identify different parts of a sleep cycle. So have fun with the lab.